Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold the Second Swing Golf outside today at Les Bolstead Golf Course on the driving range with Jake Montgomery. Jake is the fitting manager at Minneapolis. Today, Jake, we got a fun one, head-to-head -head comparison of five woods. Mm -hmm. And so I think, you know, five woods, seven woods, nine woods, all becoming really popular um, now just because of how much higher they launch the ball, uh, better ball flight for a lot of golfers than say a three iron or even some hybrids. And so today we've got two really good models to test, Ping G430 Max, Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. So I guess, what have you seen from these two? What's your favorite aspects of these two models? Yeah, I mean, I would say as far as fairway woods go, these are both in the kind of upper echelon for what I fit the most. Um, I would say Ping is generally my most sold fairway. I find it's the easiest to hit for most people. Okay. Um, I also sell far more five woods than I do three woods. Really? Most people these days can't quite get the launch and the spin numbers that we need out of a three wood to keep it in the air, where they actually get more distance out of a higher lofted club because mm. it stays in the air for a longer period of time. Um, both of these use pretty similar technologies. They have got a carbon top there so we can redistribute the weight down to the bottom, get that center of gravity lower, get the ball launching higher. Um, Ping has the spin consistency face. This yes. uses the AI smart face. So that is kind of targeting spin control and consistency, trying to make sure that we don't have a lot of variability across the face. AI smart face is trying to get as much ball speed across the yep. face. So targeting two different areas, but both trying to get you a more consistent flight pattern. Yeah, and it's almost, it's kind of, it kind of goes to the MO of each brand, right? Yeah. I think Ping's been kind of over years been, not that they haven't been a fast club face yeah. on their woods, but it's certainly about forgiveness for them a little bit more maybe than for sure other places. Now, AI smart face is also about forgiveness, right? Yep. It's about getting as much ball speed as they can mm -hmm. on those mishits. So um, we have a, a a lot of fun technologies to test head to head today. Both have been awesome so far. And obviously the G430 Max was a 2023 release. So yep. it's been uh, out there a little bit longer, but still great, great performer. So, um, and while we do this too, let's talk shafts. I know mm -hmm. we tried to match them up as best we could. Obviously yep. we couldn't match the, par the, the paradigm exactly with mm -hmm. the bonded hosel. So what do we got today? Yeah, so these are both 75 gram uh, stiff flex shafts here. Yep. This is the Tensi Blue, a little higher spin than that Tour Black there, but pretty similar. Yeah, okay. All right, let's do some head to head testing here. Uh, we'll show the trackman numbers as well. I'm Absolutely. excited. All right, so the Paradigm AI Smoke to start. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me what you see when you look down at that one. Yes, I mean, this face is very, very square. I actually carry a Ping and a Callaway Fairway Wood both in my bag. So okay. I'm familiar with each look there. Uh, for me, Callaway at a dress looks very, very square there. Um, I do actually like the kind of difference in the top line there. Okay, you do like it has that. that kind of metallic straight edge there and then the carbon on kind of tapering in the back there. Yeah. It really feels like it allows me to line it up fairly straight there. Um, okay. Resting pretty low to the ground as well. Right. Gives you a lot of confidence Shallow somebody face, get so underneath it. You can get that thing launched in the air. Okay. Yep. Ooh, really good start there. That was a good one off the bat. And now what would you, I know we, um, you know, we've already tested a little bit today or mm -hmm. actually, so you kind of have a good idea about numbers wise for a five wood here, what would you expect? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm searching for 150 to 155 ball speed. Okay. Spin rate's going to be low 4,000s, could get up to 5,000s on a miss there. Peak height somewhere around uh, 110 feet, okay. somewhere in there. Ideally, I'd want this club to carry for me about 240, 245. Okay. okay. Okay, good to know. Well, the first one is uh, pretty good there. Okay. 244.4 on the carry. Okay. 40, 49 on the spin. Gotcha. So that's pretty much kind of what yep. you were mentioning there. 153.5 on the ball speed. Okay. Perfect. That one should be spinnier. It's kind of low it, heel. It, it looked like it might have been a little low face there. Yeah. Still got 150.3 ball speed though. Okay. That's the smart face right there. Yep, 47.92 on the spin. So yep. a little bit of a miss, not but bad, nothing, though. you didn't lose a ton. No. It's caught fairly well to shut the face a little bit. Yeah. Well, I know you play the kind of swooping draw yeah. anyway, so. That that flight is not unfamiliar to me yep. at all. I mean, that one, to get a spin knocked down a little bit, they're at 3,500, 240 yeah. carry though still. Yeah. So it didn't yeah. take off on you, which is, no. which is good. Another good ball there. Yeah, I like that one. See a plane flying in the distance. I thought your ball was gonna, <laughs> gonna hit it, but plane's a little too high. Oh, that's ripped. These are some high numbers for Ping to, to match here. Yeah. That was a pretty, pretty good well. session there. All right, let's see here. All right. 
going to bring up this version for you to look at there. I don't know if you can see. Again, it's got a lot of sunlight. Yeah. We're battling there, but pretty good there. Um, on the numbers, let's dive in here. 102.3 club speed, 151.9 ball speed. Yeah. Spin was at 44.59. So you said low 4,000s. It's yeah. kind of hovering there. There was the one mm -hmm. miss that maybe brought it up a little bit. Yep. Um, carried distance was 235.7, total 248.6. Yeah. So kind of in your in your range you were looking yeah, for. You 100%. said you were kind of thinking, look for 240 maybe on the carry, and a couple of those really were. Yeah, absolutely. Um, again, we do have a wind going like that, so mm -hmm. it's changing. I know it is normalized on here, but still changing things a little bit. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to bring up height, 107 feet on okay. average. Yeah. Well, we expected. So far, what do you expect? Um, I guess, any predictions for the G430 Max? I'd predict the ping to be maybe slightly lower spinning just for an average standpoint because the misses won't spin quite as much mm -hmm. on it. Okay. Um, I have found them to be a pretty fast fairy wood as well. Might see a couple miles an hour ball speed increase there, but honestly, I don't expect the numbers to change all too much. These have been pretty competitive with each other all year long. Okay. All right, well, let's find out. Yeah. All right, so Jake, G430 Max, mm -hmm. how much different does that look versus the Paradigm? I mean, I definitely noticed the scoring lines on here. It makes the face look a little more rounded. Okay. Um, I've always thought ping fairy woods look pretty inviting. They're, they're just really easy to hit. They get under the ball really well. I've always found the turf interaction with them is pretty solid. Um, and then I do kind of like how it tapers off again into that more kind of carbon fiber finish. It's more of a matte painted black finish there at the front. So, again, pretty similar for being able okay. to line it up a little straighter. Nice. All right. Let's see what we got here. It's a high draw. Good one to start for sure. Oh yeah. Felt pretty good. Towering draw. That's what I like to see. Do you notice the difference in the feel? I would say this one feels a little softer. Okay. Almost feels like I can feel the ball compress off the face a little bit more. I mean, it feels faster. I don't know yeah. how the ball okay. speeds are comparing this far. We'll hit one more and I'll give you a little, little insight. All right. I'm curious on this one because you definitely that got a little, a little bit behind sorry. that one. Yeah. But it might knock the spin down and it looks like it. I mean, it, yeah, it looks like it's a flight look like it went out there. All right, so ball speed jumped down to 140. Well, down to 149.3. Yeah. Spin was 34.15, so the carry was actually 244.5. So, wow. what are your longest carries so far? And yeah. I, if you're curious on the ball speed, the G430 Max is faster at 152.3 average so okay. far, just by about a mile an hour. So. Gotcha. A couple more shots yet. Yep. Oh, man. This thing's feeling pretty good. Yeah. 240.0 carry. So, okay. I think we're, so far, it's slightly faster and slightly longer than the Paradigm. Yeah. Wow. That one kind of have to tell, but it's ended up perfect. Well, not perfect contact, but it, the ball speed is 151.2. So, um, pretty good numbers there. Let's see what we got here. I'll, first, I'll show you the dispersion as I typically mm -hmm. do. Once it shows up for me, there we go. So again, I count, there's the orange in there, you can see. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot smaller dispersion. Yeah. Um, numbers wise here, G430 Max, Paradigm AI Smoke, you gained 0 0.5 miles per hour ball yeah. speed. So 152.4 to 151.9. Mm -hmm. Club speed was very, actually identical. Mm -hmm. 102.3 average for both. So slightly, slightly more efficient with the G430 Max. Yep. Um, also the G430 Max spin rate was lower yeah. on average, about 300 RPM, okay. 4151 to 4459. Gotcha. So that resulted in about five more yards of carry yeah. on average, mm -hmm. 240.0 to 235.7. The total then 253.2 to 248.6. And then if I look over at height, the G430 Max actually was also flying higher mm -hmm. um, at 113 to 107. Okay. So um, this kind of does line up with what you had thought there. Yep. Um, so still, I mean, both are very good performers, right? Absolutely. And I think we've also, we talked about the just the ability for the five wood to launch the ball high. Mm -hmm. And obviously with someone, you can kind of see how with, you know, someone with maybe a lower swing speed could really get a lot of advantage out for of a sure. five wood versus three wood that you talked about. I'm curious, do you have the land angle on there? I do, yeah, let me find it here. Land angle. So the land angle, 44.9 mm -hmm. to 44.4. 4. 
That is perfect. So, and then you're kind of looking for about, you know, mid 40s on, yeah, on, on that? Yeah, 100%. 45 degree land angle, that ball is going to stop pretty quickly, even if you're playing on a faster green, like maybe in a rollout 10, 15 feet. That, I'm right. very happy with that. And with Bud's, both clubs, too, mm -hmm. are really in that window. 100%. So, um, yeah, any other numbers you're curious about or anything else you kind of thought of as I was kind of rattling off all those numbers there? I mean, what is the standard deviation of the spin rates? Yeah, so more consistent spin was also the G430 Max. Okay, that makes sense. As you mentioned. So that, that kind of plus or minus number was 493 with the ping, mm -hmm. and it was 609 with the Paradigm. Yeah, so yeah. there was, a, you know, I think you had one Paradigm, you know, a couple misses with each club, mm -hmm. I think, right? Yeah. Um, but those stayed a little bit more consistent with the ping. So. Yeah, no, I mean, I definitely hit some balls pretty squarely off the toe with this ping, and that spin rate stayed. It was plenty high yep. in the air, and it really didn't get any of that kind of overdraw that we saw. Right. If anything, it almost held on a little better. Right, exactly. Yeah, so, I mean, again, both really, really good clubs, yeah. but it was also good that you had the exact same club speed with both. Mm -hmm. You get a really good comparison. Sure. So, Paradigm AI Smoke, ping G430 Max, both excellent fairy yep. woods. Get your long game dialed in with a fitting at second swing. Schedule it now. Get with someone like Jake and we'll get you dialed in and making sure any gapping in your um, yardages or anything you're maybe not confident with, the yep. long part of your bag, we can get that dialed in. So Jake, thank you for your time today and hitting all the shots. Really good stuff here. No problem, thanks for having me.